Bees, wasps, hornets, oh my. And we've got the bug guy here, Mike Lipset the with Connecticut Pus, Pest. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Steph. How Thanks are you? so much for being here. You're welcome. So you That's like right. the bug man, not the bug guy. That's our nickname, bug man. Oh, the yeah. bug man. Cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All right. So obviously, once the warmer weather comes out, people start to see the mosquitoes, the ants. First off, we're going to run down the list. What is the best way to handle bees? Bees, if in around your home, is making sure there's no openings in tight areas where bees will get in and nest. And I'll tell you what, yellow jackets are probably the most aggressive and Let's most common. Let's show them, because you actually yeah, have an example. Yeah, here's a yellow jacket. That's here's a yellow my little jacket. friend. And this... It may, may be tough to see, but I got to tell you something. These guys will nest in wall voids, Oof. and they can be very difficult. And I don't recommend if you get a nest in your home. Do you mind holding for, it up yeah. one more time? I'm sorry. I don't recommend Please. if you get a nest in your home for a homeowner don't get pricked by the pen okay for a homeowner to do it themselves because it's sometimes very difficult it must have been very difficult getting this little guy actually thank to sit God still for like this. our ag station in New Haven gave me some samples <laughs> dr. Ridge has been wonderful and she works with all the exterminators and the public if you ever have an ID question all right what about hornets hornets here's a hornet's nest uh. white-faced hornets nest now this is a small one we see some of these guys are two foot Three, you know, huge. I've had nightmares we, about that. No, and these hurt when these guys sting. This is a white-faced hornet. All right, hold it there for a minute so our camera can Yeah, and shot. I got to tell you something. They're big, and I got stung last year in the shoulder, and it hurt for weeks. It Are, was tough. What do you do with that, then? What well, we, we, you know, I got some sprays up here. I'm not a big fan of aerosols. As you can see, this has been in my truck for a while. I very rarely use them. They can stain the royal base. I'm not a huge fan of them. We like to use a dust powder. Hmm. And what's nice about the dust that we use, it leaves a residual. So we can spray it during the day, whereas those, most homeowners should do it at night when all the bees are in the nest. I know nationally, and I even know locally, too, bed bugs can be a real yeah. problem. Yeah. And it gives me the heebie-jeesus just talking well, about it. What I did was them. I bought some samples, in, which are dead, so nobody needs to panic. And the reason why... <laughs> nobody panic. Nobody panic. I had one of the producers <laughs> jumping out of his skin in the other room. But uh, I bought them in just to show they are visible to the naked eye. And the way I describe them over the phone, if, a, if somebody wants to call, mm -hmm. I say a smaller than a ladybug. Picture a small ladybug that's been flattened. And uh, they, they are uh, made a big reemergence in the last five, six years. Huge. All right, we know about bug spray, right. okay? You know, you can put it on your skin. But mosquitoes, is there any way to do it preventatively without having to put all that stuff on your skin? They are difficult. The first and foremost, uh, you know, standing water. If, you, if, you, if people have old pools or tires laying in the backyard. But good maintenance is no substitute for cleaning around the yard. Reducing overgrowth right. is huge. There are sprays. Um, but what happens when you get like a month like we had in June with 10 inches of rain, all of that degrades. Mm. So there's no substitute in any of these issues with maintenance. Oh, jeez. Ants. 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 Ugh. We are in the Be height clean, of Be clean, people. Ant. That's the best way to get rid of ants, right? The height of ant season right now when it gets hot and muggy. My sample somewhat broke, but this is a carpenter ant reproductive. And a lot of people don't realize that ant reproductives do have wings. So a lot of times we get the call and they think they're termites. But the ants, we're in the height of ant season. Watch this. Um, and I mean, this guy's not going to come to life anytime no, soon, right? No, we're not no. going to resuscitate him. Some of him. those samples are years old. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and so what, what can you do? You can spray for them? Spray for ants, Okay, yeah. and then what about the, this doesn't look like the ant that you would see that, like the line in well, your kitchen. Well, once again. Is it the similar kind of, yeah, you do the same Once again, thing? this is a reproductive. Uh -huh. And the reproductives uh, are, when you normally see those, it's going to be near the nest. So oh. when you see the ants trailing, you know you got an issue. And certainly, uh, the best way to do it is have an exterminator come in. You know, you seem, re I mean, you're not really into this. Are you, do you like bugs? I do like bugs, yeah. You like bugs. Thank God for bugs. I'm glad that there are people like you. Yeah. Because I don't like them at all. <laughs> Well, that's what we do. Thank God for bugs. I, I have to eat off of bugs. Yeah, you eat bugs? No, no. I'm we have to kidding. eat from. Them. I know you're kidding. I know. Um, and the best way, uh, you got a fly in the house. Do you just have to track it down? Yeah, but, you know, there's not much you can do. Everybody's going to get a few flies in the in the summertime. But keep your screens down, keep your uh, doors closed, and and keep the trash covered. 
Or those are all good rules anyways. Yes. Hey, thanks so much, Mike. Thank this you, was Jessica. fun. Pleasure. Thanks for bringing these samples. This is great. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.